praise the Lord. God be glorified. God be magnified. Today and always in Jesus' name. Amen. We're going to read 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 14. 1 Corinthians 2, 14. But the natural man does not receive the things of the Spirit of God, for they are foolishness to him. Nor can he know them, because they are spiritually descend. Wonderful word of God. And this is where we get into all manner of unnecessary arguments and confusion and so-called discussions that shouldn't even be there. There are things that are spiritually discerned, and the other fellow who is not spiritual can never understand it. Never. He has no knowledge of it, and he will always argue against it. I'll start from a very simple thing that has gone around the world, and it's now called controversial. How can you call the things of God controversial? Somebody says, you shouldn't pay tithe. Because according to him, tithes ended in the Old Testament. Another person said, even in the days of Jesus, if they paid tithe, it was because Jesus didn't go to the cross. After that, there were no tithe. All manner of stories come up. There are people who will say tithes is a part of the law of Moses. There are so many people who have not read their scriptures. And there are those people who have read the scriptures mechanically. Because they are not spiritual, they can't understand it. I want us to note one thing that the scripture says. It said, the later killed, the spirit giveth life. These same scriptures that we have, they kill. That's the testimony it has of itself. But when the spirit of God comes upon that scripture, it brings out life. And I usually say, the real mystic has a Bible, whatever religion he thinks he belongs to. Because there is nothing that happens in this world outside of the context of the scripture. Even the worst of wickedness, that wicked man will find some expression somewhere in the scripture to stand upon. Because anyway, God had designed this world to function by the scripture and by the scripture alone. Now, but that person who uses it not by the spirit of God, will always reap a harvest of destruction, of death, of evil. And that fellow cannot see the correct side of that scripture because it will come from the Spirit of God. When you don't have the Spirit of God, you can never understand the scripture. So that fellow will start to say, you cannot pay tithes, all manner of stories. It's just like this issue of homosexuality and lesbianism. And people will say, no, they are blessed by God. You see somebody stand on a pulpit and has a collar on and calls himself pastor. This is a homosexual. Or some lesbian who is leading some group in the church and calls herself Christian. Those are things that God outrightly in the Bible condemns. But for them, they have some physical interpretation of the scripture that is devoid of the spirit of God. You want to know the things of God, they have to be shown to you by the Holy Spirit. It is wrong, and I want to emphasize it, it is wrong of you to carry the Bible and say, this is what it says, and proceed to do what you think it says. Because it says it kills. But if it were going to be correct, that same thing that you read will be shown to you by the Holy Spirit. You know what Jesus said? When the Holy Spirit comes, he will take that which is of me. And I know Jesus is the word of God. I'm sure some of us have known that. Jesus is the word of God. What is he saying? He will take this word and show to you. The Holy Spirit will come and take the word of God and show to you. You have already seen it, but he now shows you what it means. That is why we have preaching every day of life since the scriptures were put together. Up till today, the verses of the scriptures have not been exhausted in preaching. Somebody should start to think, why is that possible? Because the interpretation and the application of the scripture correctly only comes from the Holy Spirit. And he is able to take one verse and bring out 10 billion interpretations in the ages that have been and in the ages to come. That is why there is no exhaustion of the preaching of the scripture. There is no exhaustion of the revelation of the knowledge of the word of God. 
listen to the Holy Spirit if you are talking about the Word of God. If you are talking about spiritual life, listen to the Holy Spirit. And anyway, which life is not spiritual? Because the physical life has no bearing if there's no spiritual direction. If you are not spiritual, it's unfortunate. If you have the class that assumed that the spiritual had passed away and there is no such thing, or you are outrightly some fellow who believes in humanism, whatever happens to you, you're on your own. I am talking about the person who wants to reap the fullness of life. You must be spiritual, of the spirit of God, not spiritual as of any other thing called spirit. If you are spiritual of the things of God, things will happen for you in the right direction. I'm going to pray, Father, everyone that requires the Holy Spirit, that seeks the Holy Spirit, grant unto them in your mercy. You see their hearts, you know their hearts. Not those who want to use the Holy Spirit for a profit or for some kind of evil purposes, which cannot happen anyway. And everyone who is already spiritual, help them to grow better and better, shine brighter and brighter, growing in faith daily, growing in grace continually. As I lift up my hand, I touch everyone that is listening with the power and the fire of the Holy Spirit. It comes upon you and will elevate you and bring you up higher and higher spiritually that you have full understanding of things and of life. In Jesus' name, amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit rest and abide with you now and forevermore. Amen. Amen.